Britain's economy is in a rut, and it's time to get serious about solutions. In the second half of 2023, the UK found itself in the grips of a recession, an economic downturn that rippled through various sectors, impacting both businesses and households alike. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has proposed a potential solution, tax cuts on personal incomes. On the surface, this seems like a promising way to inject some life into the ailing economy. But there's a caveat. Such a move could lead to inflation and delay much needed interest rate cuts, adding fuel to the fire instead of extinguishing it. But is there a different path? Could there be alternative ways to stimulate the economy without triggering inflation or causing financial market volatility? The future of Britain may lie in these five alternative strategies. Our first strategy is a shift to a tax on wealth. Currently, the UK relies heavily on income tax, which takes a slice of everyone's earnings. But what if we move the focus from income to wealth? This could mean taxing assets such as property, stocks and bonds, which would ensure those with the deepest pockets pay their fair share. Next up, we have the extension of council tax bans. Council tax is a local tax that varies depending on the value of your home. By extending the bans, we could create a more progressive system where those in higher value homes pay proportionately more. The third strategy is the introduction of a wealth tax on multimillionaires. This would be a tax on the richest in society, those with wealth measured in millions. It's a bold move, but one that could generate significant revenue and reduce wealth inequality. The fourth strategy is devolving power to regions. By giving regions more control over their finances, we could stimulate local economies and encourage innovation. This could lead to a more balanced economic growth across the country, not just concentrated in London and the South East. Lastly, we have the lowering of interest rates. Lower interest rates make borrowing cheaper, which can stimulate investment and spending. This could lead to increased economic activity and job creation, giving the economy a much needed boost. But there's more to this story. Housing and mental health services could also play pivotal roles in turning the economy around. Imagine if we supported housing associations to build more affordable homes. This could stimulate the construction industry, create jobs and make housing more accessible. And let's not forget investing in mental health services. Improving the mental health of the workforce can boost productivity and reduce the number of workdays lost to mental health issues. These five strategies, along with a focus on housing and mental health, could provide the stimulus the UK economy needs to get back on track. They are bold, they are innovative, and they could change the future of Britain. Housing and mental health services, factors often overlooked, but crucial in driving economic productivity. Let's start with housing, affordable housing to be precise. It's not just about providing a roof over someone's head. It's about creating stability, a sense of security. When people have access to affordable homes, they're not just residents, they become part of a community. They can focus on their jobs, their education, their families, without the constant worry of keeping a roof over their heads. Now, let's talk about mental health. Historically, mental health services have been underfunded and undervalued, but the reality is, investing in mental health services could significantly improve workforce productivity. So, we have affordable housing and mental health services, two seemingly unconnected factors. But when you look a little deeper, you see the connections. These strategies provide an alternative path. The question is, will they be implemented? And what would be the potential impact on the larger global economy? The UK's economic decisions don't just impact its own citizens, it has ripple effects across the globe. Let's take the proposed increase in corporation tax, for example. This move, while seemingly domestic, could have international implications. It might just alter how the world sees London, a city renowned as a bustling business centre. Investors worldwide look at these tax changes with a keen eye. The hike could potentially deter corporations from setting up shop in the UK, causing a trickle-down effect on global investors who have stakes in these companies. Similarly, US investors who have long viewed the UK as a viable alternative investment destination could be swayed by these changes. Furthermore, the UK's economic fluctuations can influence global markets. In this interconnected world, a recession in one country could trigger a domino effect, impacting economies far and wide. And as we've seen in the past, economic crises do not respect borders. 
So as we wait for the UK's next moves, the world watches, knowing that the decisions made could impact us all. As we wrap up, remember that the UK's economic journey is one we should all keep an eye on. We've delved into the pressing issues of the British economy, exploring five alternative solutions that could stimulate growth without triggering inflation or unsettling financial markets. Housing and mental health, often overlooked, also play crucial roles in this economic puzzle. The ripple effects of these decisions will not just be felt within the UK, but globally, impacting investors and economies alike. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on this and other important economic news. This is your source for balanced and insightful economic reporting.